Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a Bible journaling page for you for the Easter season. It is Good Friday today, so what a great day to bring the Word of God to you and share my process with Jesus. So, these are some napkins that I had from Easter, and all of them didn't get used, so I wanted to go ahead and do the napkin technique in my Bible, and here I was trying to get the layers from the napkin apart. You want to usually take those layers of napkin so you have the thinnest piece to work with, but this napkin did not have layers, so just a tip. So I'm going to went ahead and cut the bunny out of the napkin, and I was going to use the eggs from that original napkin at first, but then I also had this little napkin with more eggs, so I was able to cut that down into a strip and include it in the margin better and get the look I was going for. So the passage that I am journaling today is Matthew 28, 5, and it says, Then the angel spoke to the woman, Don't be afraid. He said, I know you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come see where his body was lying. He, so this is the resurrection story and I will dive into this a little bit more. I just want to share a little bit more of my process. So for the napkin technique, you add the clear gesso. So I'm using clear gesso. You add it to the back of the bunny, in my case, the back of the napkin, and then it is able to stick and then you apply it onto the top as well to seal it down onto the paper and then it's not going to go anywhere. So this is definitely a fun process and it definitely looks really cool and if the napkin is clear it can absorb in and you can see the words behind depending on the napkin you are working with. So just using my heat tool a little bit to dry that as the process. I wanted to go ahead and work on the background as well next, which I will be using some Distress Oxides to do that. I also had prepped the page beforehand. Just want to throw that out there and mention that. So as I go ahead and work on this background here, I will go ahead and dive more into this passage. So this is the resurrection story. And just like Jesus was given new life so that we were given new life and that our sin was taken away and he took our sin upon him. Easter is a celebration of new things. The Easter bunny and spring, new life is happening all around us. The flowers are are growing after after the cold, after that end animals are being born. Baby animals are in all of the Easter books and all of the Easter spring things. And so new life. Easter is all about new life and that God took it all upon him. And we can turn to him and ask for forgiveness and, and, and feel his presence around us in this new season of life as spring comes forth. God's love is coming forth too. And it's just really great to know that God's love is always there and he's always pouring it over us. His love is like a spring flowing over us and he's always showing it and just underlining the verse here and that is um, my process and my thoughts on this passage and so thank you so much for watching today's video i hope that you find jesus and the joy that he brings throughout the year but also on easter and i'm also going to go ahead and show you a little bit of coloring that i did in my bible as well this is the inspire bible if i did not mention that before and this is another great passage and it says he isn't here he is risen from the dead as as 
just as he said it would happen. So that's actually the verse that, one of the verses that I journaled. So happy Easter. I do have one more Bible journaling page coming your way on Easter Monday. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.